I'm excited to introduce our first performer. You know her just from Just for Laughs and her comedy album, Unveiled. Please join me in welcoming Iman El Husseini. Sorry. So great. Sorry. Thank you so much. Good thank you, thank you. I was worried about your mic. <laughs> oh my God, so great to be here. Um, well, it's great to be here in this room, not America in general. Let's be honest. Not a great time. I moved here from Canada a couple of years ago. Horrible timing. Thank you so much, everybody. I'm uh, Canadian. I'm also Muslim and apparently a fucking idiot. Thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, I am here uh, legally, in case you were wondering. I um, got a green card for doing this, <laughs> right? I got approved into this country on the basis of being an alien of extraordinary ability. <laughs> yes, we can, Obama. Yes, we can. <laughs> Obviously, this happened during the previous administration, not the current administration. People are now very concerned for me. A Muslim woman in Trump's America, they want to know how I'm coping. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but being Muslim has always sucked. You know what I'm saying? It's never been easy. Like even in Canada, five years ago, I got invited to do uh, my biggest show ever. And I could tell the producers had a lot of questions to ask me, but they felt guilty singling me out. So they called a meeting with all the comics involved. It was so obvious who they were talking to, right? Because it's like, hey guys, we're so excited to have you here. This is going to be so great. Is everybody a legal citizen here? Yes, everybody? <laughs> Anybody have trouble at the airport? <laughs> okay, final question. What's the exact ratio of chickpeas to tahini when you make hummus at home? What is that? <laughs> I am glad that Arabs make good food, right? Honestly, because we'd have nothing going on for us. Let's be honest. <laughs> Aside from unwanted facial hair and anger. What a disaster. <laughs> this is why I sincerely believe the most powerful word in the Arab language today is hummus. Right? You say hummus in front of white people, it puts you at ease. You guys love that stuff. <laughs> you put it on everything. Hummus is white people's new mayonnaise. I don't know if you know this. Thank Allah for hummus. But it's great. It's good to be in New York City. It smells like piss everywhere, hey? It's just, uh, I feel like people come from all over the world just to piss in the streets. It's lovely. I love New York. Uh, four out of three people are Jewish. I don't know how the math works here. It's amazing. <laughs> I feel very exotic as a Palestinian, right? They find out I'm Palestinian, they always have the same question for me. Like, Iman, you gotta tell us the truth. How do the Palestinians really feel about the Jews? <laughs> like, I don't know. I guess the same way the Jews feel about the Palestinians. And they're like, oh, that's not good. That's <laughs> not good at all. And that's just my in-laws, so I married a Jewish woman. Okay, so, um, <laughs> People are often surprised to discover that I'm Muslim because I don't necessarily fit the profile, right? I'm not a hijabi or a niqabi, I'm more of a cleavagey Muslim. That's my <laughs> category. <laughs> and apparently I sound like a Brooklyn Jew when I speak English. <laughs> this is because I learned how to speak English watching Joy Behar in The View. This is what <laughs> happened. <laughs> You have to be really confident to live in New York, right? So my motto when I moved here was to be confident like a guy, right? I work with a lot of guys doing comedy, a lot of them very confident, some of them delusional, not all of them, <laughs> especially when it comes to picking up women, okay? They hook up with the lady, she rejects them, automatically a lesbian. It doesn't matter what the guy looks like, she has to be the problem. I wish I had a tenth of that confidence. I'm the complete opposite. Good looking guy comes over to talk to me, like, this guy is a homosexual. This guy <laughs> is coming to ask me where I got my purse. I know it. H&M homo. H&M. I just feel like, in general, women were way too hard on ourselves, right? Like, we can't even take a compliment properly. I had a guy compliment my hair, like, Iman, I really love your hair. I'm like, he's talking about my mustache. I know. <laughs> he sees my hairy legs through the jeans. Um, I do, uh, I do have Arab parents uh, that uh, have hated me for a long time um, <laughs> because I wasn't married at birth. This is the thing. <laughs> but now I am married. I married a woman, a Jewish woman, like I mentioned earlier. Um, our family's, yeah, complete silence. Thank you. That's exactly. <laughs> 
was really upset with my father for not being on board. Out of all of the parents, my father upset me the most because um, all of my life he told me and my sister to stay away from boys, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, stay away from boys. Don't talk to boys. Men are pigs. Like, Dad, look who I brought home. <laughs> He's like, well, have you tried black guys? And it's like, what? <laughs> of course I have, of course. Anyway, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. What a great show. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm excited to introduce our final performer. She's an NBC stand-up finalist, and you can hear her on Sirius XM's Raw Dog. Please welcome Jess Solomon. Thanks so much. Hello, I'm Jess. Uh, I'm a Canadian, and I moved to this country right before the last election, and I moved here with my Muslim wife because I'm making, <laughs> yeah, yeah, all the best choices all of the time. That's my thing. That's what I'm up to. Uh, I'm Jewish. My wife is Palestinian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It was uh, it was a very tiny wedding. You guys really small. It was just me, her, and a UN peacekeeper. That was <laughs> the whole party. <laughs> I moved into her place. She didn't want me there, but I um, <laughs> I moved in anyway. You know <laughs> how the Jews do. Um, good. <laughs> Before moving here, we went to see a lawyer, and the lawyer was like, I just have to ask you guys, is this a marriage of convenience? And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> You got me busted, lady. My big plan to move to America is to marry a Canadian Palestinian Muslim woman. <laughs> Hop right over that border. <laughs> Alienate both of our families. This is literally the most convenient thing I have ever done. <laughs> But we're here now, and we spent a lot of money on our green cards, so we're not going back just yet. We've um, we've joined the resistance. That's what we're up to. <laughs> Who knew? Good times in America. I'm just calling up senators, pretending I live in a swing state. I don't know <laughs> if that's what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know if it's working. I'm just like, oh, hi. Is this a senator's office from Ohio? Yeah, I'm a white working class coal miner that lost my job. And they're like, you sound a lot like a Canadian woman that moved to Brooklyn and doesn't have the right to vote. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it up, sir. Keep it up. <laughs> I, uh, I've been hitting up the marches, too. Uh, it's my main form of cardio these days. Um, it's been a good time. I've been pretty proud of my signs. I know that's not, like, the point of the march or anything. Um, I went to a gay march recently with my wife, and my sign said, she had me at hello. <laughs> that was, that's pretty cute. <laughs> I had this, uh, we had this Japanese news crew came over to interview us, and the reporter was like, I just have to ask you guys, what do you think about Trump? And I just yelled, I love you, Japan! Like I had fans over there. You know, you're just so swept up in the moment. I'm not coping well, I'm not dealing, you know what I mean? Every day is a nightmare, that's the truth. And it's just like, obviously, obviously I'm not coping well. You know, like, look at me, I'm a privileged white lady. Like, the only thing I've ever been denied is Hillary Clinton. So it's... <laughs> It's been um, challenging. Um, I, uh, I do think about Trump getting impeached every day. And, um, and then I always arrive at the idea of Mike Pence and how that guy believes in gay conversion therapy, right? Which is trying to make gay people straight. It doesn't work. It's harmful. I'm not on board with it. What I am on board with, though, is making people gay. You know what I mean? I think that's a solid policy. Um, this is true. My wife wasn't even gay before. Um, I did that. Thank you so much. High five. High five, everyone at home. I did that. Yes. I, did. I converted her. Um, yeah. Not to Judaism yet. Just a gay. That's all we've got. Um, but I did move her to New York, and she is in therapy. So almost Jewish. You know, we're so close. Thank you, guys. You've been amazing. Guys, give it one more time for Jess Solomon. How much time do we, guys? Great. Actually, can I have you guys pop back out? Actually, you guys give it one more time for Jess and Eman. Sorry to bring you back out. Is it a spoiler alert that you guys are together? Yeah. We're married. Oh, They're actually. married. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Uh, yeah. Tell me about uh, any other projects you guys have going on and where everyone here can find you. Uh, on Instagram, we have a cartoon based on our uh, marriage, if you guys want to follow that account, at the L. Solomons. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to have you guys in here. I'm so sorry. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. So I'm Jess Solomon. She's Iman al So you can follow us at the L. Solomons. And uh, they're very cute cartoons about our marriage, about being a Jew and a Palestinian, <laughs> gay, married, lesbian, the whole thing. And that's it. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yes. So let me ask you guys one more question. Um, did you did you guys meet in comedy or did you meet like outside of comedy? Our you can parents, hand it to the mic. I don't know why our, I'm holding Oh, yeah. Um, our parents introduced us. That's not true. That's <laughs> <laughs> Our parents did not. Our parents haven't met yet. But we, uh, no. It was, uh, it was comedy. Comedy was what comedy. brought us together. That's, that's right. That's amazing, guys. Give it up for them one more time. <laughs> our timing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Please let Brick TV know that you'd like to see more of this kind of programming. I'd like to thank Hoodwings Escape in Harlem. Please check them out. Thanks to Mama Ware, Michelle Ware, and Oreo. Shout out Michael Mora, Hudson Meredith, Chris Raddis, and to our audience in here. Have a good night. Thank you.